I'm going to cut to the chase. When you pack a punch the M16, it becomes fully automatic. So let's go see if it's any good. So as you probably already know, the M16 is a burst rifle. Like as you can see here, it's a three round burst. But what everyone's been telling me is that when you pack a punch, it becomes fully automatic. So let's go ahead and throw this crystal on it. They weren't lying. And this was one of the best weapons in Cold War Zombies. Like this is one of my go-to weapons whenever like there was any wall buys or anything. I would grab this until I could get my like PhD and everything to use M79. So we're gonna see if it can live up to its predecessor. Oh my, what a chest. We have the ray gun in here and three perks. Two of them might be the same, but it don't matter. Give me all these. My luck has been insane recently with these boxes. This is okay, spawned right here. Walk maybe a hundred feet, maybe more than a hundred feet. I don't, I don't know math. Go to this chest. Most insane loot I've ever seen. Okay, that threw me off a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. While we're testing this out, I'm also gonna be trying to get the camos done for it. I want to try to get to this golden ivory because this is an MW2 weapon, not an MW3. Crazy trend so far with all the MW2 weapons having like different abilities once you pack a punch them. I'm liking it. But the camo challenges for this weapon, we obviously have the standard base camo of getting like 250 kills. Then the next camo for it, we need to get 100 kills while the zombies are affected by a tactical. So I brought in some decoys here. I mean, I always bring in decoys, but I'm hoping that decoys work as long as the zombies are distracted by them. Otherwise, we're going to have to walk around and try to find some stuns or something. We also need 200 critical kills with it, which shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to get it done once we get to a spot where we can grind out a decent amount of zombies. Then after that, we need to get our 10 kills without letting go over the trigger 10 times, which should not be too difficult. Honestly, the PDSW needed less kills, so... I guess we'll see. Pretty sure the PDSW is five kills without releasing the trigger. Then if we get all those done, we'll unlock our golden ivory challenge, which is getting 100 kills and X filling. But since we already got this weapon done in MW2, it's already fully leveled up. We shouldn't have to worry about not getting any of these camos done unless we either die or disconnect. But with the M16, this is like the limit of the weapons I know that have different uh, pack-a-punch abilities. Like we already did the PDSW. We found out about the Joker while we were doing it. And speaking of the PDSW, it's right here. Too bad we already got the ray gun. And more PhD flopper. They really want us to have this. I'm getting sidetracked. But I don't know if there's any other weapons in the game that have like a new ability while pack a punch. I hope there is. I've been liking using these a lot. But since we don't have to really do anything special today, we just kind of have to kill zombies in different ways. Let's go ahead and find us an Outlast contract and try to grind these out. Because I do want to try this against a Mega Abomination. I feel like any weapon that has some sort of like rare ability or just like any weapon in general, I want to try it against the Mega Abomination if we have the opportunity. I don't see a single Outlast contract though. I'm also like basically blind and dumb. I'm gonna go real slow. It's gonna be like an episode of Dora. Do you see the Outlast contract? Cause I sure as fuck don't. I think they just become so popular that people are just picking them up. All right, well, I can't spend all day looking around for them. Maybe I'll do a spore control. Cause I still got people telling me that the spore control is better than Outlast. And when I did it, I didn't really think so, but I guess we'll try again. It's also in the middle of this Merc camp. So let me just go ahead and blow up their whole quadrant. I'll we'll start this up. Any other guys want to try shooting at me? Oh yeah, I think there's still two more of you. Dead? Oh, three more. I'm gonna kill this last dude with alien technology. Where you at? Show yourself, coward. This guy just might have went AWOL. Oh wait, I found him. Later, bitch. No way there's still more of you. I haven't got the notification that it's cleared. I'm on a side quest. Maybe these zombies will fish them out. All right, whatever. I can't be fucking around with this for too long. Zombies? Take care of him if he's still here. So what people are telling me with this contract is the way to make it work better for you is to actually take out five of the spores and leave one. Last time I just threw one of these on each of the spores and I didn't destroy any of them. So let's try doing some of this. That's two spores down. Three. Four spore and seven zombies ago. And that should be five. Eh, yeah, this is a pretty good amount of zombies. But were they spawning because I destroyed the spores? Like just a one-time instance of me taking them out? Or will they stay here? Oh, well, either way, let's see if uh, these decoys are going to help out. Zombies go ahead and get distracted by it. Yeah, walk your happy ass back over there. Let's kill two birds with one stone. Let's get a few critical kills. Let's not let go of the trigger. And I think I waited a little bit too long to start shooting at them. Those decoys don't last very long. I can relate. And now that I killed that huge horde, I see one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven zombies. That's so lame. Y'all think this is better than Outlast? Like, really? What am I doing wrong here? Because I don't like this contract. I'd rather go all the way to that Dr. Jensen mission and farm there, which is what I might do if I actually cannot find any contracts. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm taking this one out. I'm probably doing something wrong here, but I can't get this going. Maybe I need to leave this on the spore, but it still seems like the same amount of zombies regardless. Well, I guess it's not as terrible with this constantly hitting a little ball sack, but it's still not very good. Oh, and we got, did get our camo. Our 10 kills without, oh, it was without reloading. I thought it was without letting go of the trigger. When I tell you guys I can't read, I'm not kidding. I mean, obviously I can read, but just not very well. My reading comprehension is terrible, but it is not worth wasting decoys over like maybe 10 zombies that spawn at a time. Oops. And I accidentally destroyed the spore anyway, so. Watch this. Ray gun schematic? Nope. A man can dream. We got any outlast contracts that spawn yet? Oh, we do. I'm gonna grab that before somebody else does. We gotta make a mad dash for this thing. Okay, I think uh, we made it here safe and sound. Where's this located at? Oh, I was hoping it would be up here. Because I was just driving by and I don't think I've ever been in this area. Also, 250 kill camo. Fuck with your boy. But I've never really seen this area before. I don't think I've been up here as much. But this is also a really good area because we got one of these. So that means we can constantly get our decoys. This is going to be perfect for getting this camo. We should get this knocked out easy. Let's start it up. I'm going to do the classic strat of getting this up to like 70% and then not touching it. We're edging the contract. But I've said this a few times towards the end of the videos, but I'm sure some of y'all check out before then. But I just want to say thank you guys for all the support since this games came out. It's been out for like a little over a week at this point, almost two weeks. And we've already went up to 194,000 subscribers. So I really, really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for coming by and, you know, watching the videos, chilling with me in the streams, all that good stuff. It really does mean a lot. So I appreciate y'all. And we still aren't getting like a crazy amount of spawns right now. I don't know what I, I normally do. Maybe I get the percentage higher and then leave it alone. But whenever I do the Outlast contract down in like the military base, I get insane spawns. Over here, I'm... I'm getting like the same amount of spawns we're getting with the spore plus a few hellhounds well let's just start tossing decoys we need to start getting this challenge done and see if it even works because we need to get 100 kills to even see if it works i'm telling me what to do barrera I'm my own man let's try going to the other side of the building maybe it's taking so long for them to get to me because i'm not where they're spawning at let's try like out this door it gives me a nice little funnel to shoot them through maybe a quick nuke will reset the spawns oh there's a 200 crits so we do just need our tactical camo. Okay, there's no way I haven't gotten 100 kills with my decoy yet. Or at least I'm not close. Or I should be close. I, English is hard. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I knew I could smell the camo progress. I knew I should have been close. I think that's all of our camos, right? We got all of our crits. We got our kills without reloading. We got our 250 kills. We just need to get 100 kills in Xville. So let's finish up this uh, mission right here. And then we can head on over to the tier three zone, get pack a bunch three and see what this does against a mega abomination. There we go. What you got for me? Just shatter blast? Eh, I don't, I don't got an ammo mod on. Might as well use it. All right. Where's that pack a bunch three at? All the way over here. That's like the worst spawn. I hate that spawn. Maybe we stop by the wonder fizz on our way. I'm pretty sure we still need death perception and I think that's it. Oh, and our ATV's busted. Might as well use that as a little nade on them. Let's get to running. Ab Mega Abomination, I'll come back for you. We'll talk later. All right, let's see what we're missing. Yeah, just death perception. Now let's make our way over to Pack-A-Punch. Damn, zombies. Give me a fucking break. Get on the decoy and leave my ass alone. All right, we have our Pack-A-Punch 3. We are currently armorless. Oh, but Frenzy Guard can help out a little bit. Damn, zombies. Back the fuck up. Can I buy armor real quick? Oh, throw the... Damn it. Should have threw a decoy first, but at least we have two self-revives. Maybe even three. That was kind of a waste. But we've been fighting the just roaming mega abominations. Maybe we try to get one in a contract so we can actually get some decent loot or a chance at some. And I'm almost considering dropping the ray gun because I'm pretty sure I run faster with my fists out. So I sure as shit don't run fast with my M16 out. Give me that. Oh, it is a mega abomination. Perfect. Just the guy I'm looking for. Let's go introduce ourselves. All right, what's up, you big bitch? Let's throw a quick decoy to start out. How much damage are we doing to you? Barely any. Eh, it's not terrible. Not the worst. But also, it's it's not the best. It's not great. Okay, zombies, you guys really need to fuck off. Go to the decoy now. And eat a nade. Enjoy it. Take two while you're at it. 
and give me some of that armor that sweet sweet armor there's just way too many of you guys and we cannot be having this abomination shoot lasers at us i gotta break one of his faces now come on let me get up in your shit almost there i can feel it and he's shooting a laser maybe that's what i felt come on we got a decent chunk of his health gone oh he can get in here he can get in here holy shit he just fucking emoted on me okay, let's use our self-revive i'm pretty sure we only have one more so that kind of puts a damper on things if we're trying to exfil let's throw a quick cluster mine maybe that'll kill a few zombies nope he's shooting a fucking laser will this tree protect me barely not at all really fuck this is terrible Let's self-revive again. And I'm a little scared because we don't got money to be buying more self-revives. We are doing like a decent amount of damage to them. Ooh. Yeah, completely out of self-revives. We might just have to dip on him. I wonder how long he'll stay here if we leave. Maybe I can attack him from down here. I know he's running away. Coward. I say as I have already exited the region that is just a little bit too risky we bit off a bit more than we can chew let me see if i can find another self-revive because i sure shit can't afford one nearby player is pleading for help i'm on my way this is the good karma we need to be able to find our stuff this is the good karma we need in order to find our self-revive there you go pal get on up this infested stronghold's gotta have one where's the aether storm at over here okay we just gotta be fast with this because that's about to start coming in there we go cleared it out we still got time there's a self-revive right there. Let me equip that, not stow it. We got any more of those? Not looking like it, but there is brain round. I'm going to use that. That could help us. Oh, there's another one on the ground. I'll take that. And we got to get moving if we want a chance to take this guy out. Oh, the Aether Storm's already moving pretty fast. Uh, this is going to be tight. I'm going to give it one more chance. But odds are we're going to have to run away. But you can't say I didn't try. And did by some stroke of luck, did you keep the amount of health you're at? Oh, he did. Okay. Might be possible then. And I think he actually might be weak to brain rot. So this is beautiful. This is working out in our favor. Slightly. And we did blow up one of his heads. So no more laser beams. Okay. I don't think he needs the laser beams. He's already fucking us up pretty good. Why are you running? Get back here. Actually, stay a healthy distance away. Like a decent distance. Oh, nope. We still got laser beams. So apparently I did not blow up his head. I'm dead. Bars. Oh, one health. One fucking health somehow. How did you still shoot that laser? Is what I don't know. Is it a distance thing? I need some ammo from these zombies. Right now. Armor would be useful too. Oh no, I can see the storm coming in on the map. Oh, and there's our first down since coming back to him. Had a quick self-revive. Found some ammo on the ground. Finally. We can still do this. Come on, you piece of shit. And he's shooting his fucking laser again. Oh, he's trying to run away, but he can't. Coward, you stay right there. No, 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 no. Get back here. Oh, this storm is fucking me up. There's no chance. We actually might just be dead here. These zombies are fucking surrounding me too. All right, we just need to leave. We got close, Mega Abomination. We did. Tell you what. And he got all of his health back in the storm. All right, well... We have to go our separate ways. That's so unfortunate. I'm going to cancel that contract. Okay, we need to start thinking about how we're getting out of here. There's one exfil right there. And that is literally it. Unless we go to the Dr. Jensen mission. So we got to turn our asses around and get to this one. The helicopter just landed too. I think we're fucked. I don't know if there's any way we get on there. Because the timer like goes immediately down when somebody steps foot on that helicopter. If they're the ones that called it in. Wait for me. Oh, there it goes. We're fucked. How are we getting out of this? If we take the Dr. Jensen one, we for sure will get out and we will get gold, but I don't want to have to do the whole Dr. Jensen mission. Is it worth it? Let me work it. There is like final exfil or something, but I don't think I've ever tried to get to it. I don't know how it works. I don't know if I need to like sit there and wait like in the storm because I don't have a gas mask. I'll die immediately. We just got to do the Dr. Jensen route. Actually, oh, it might get eaten up. We just got to call this in and hope we get out. Don't take your sweet ass time, Fang get here now i'm scared the storm's on the horizon i don't even see the helicopter please bro it's right here oh here it comes yeah don't worry no rush or nothing this is fucked up oh wait there is a final x fill uh this one's getting eaten you know what no i've never been to the final x fill i'm going for it 
You took way too long. You better show up at the next one. I am like the only person left in this game though. Everybody already got out of here. Of course, there's a convoy going by. Don't you guys know there's a storm? Does the storm not affect y'all? Oh, here comes the final axle helicopter. Of course, they're all, they all got out of their vehicles to try to fight me. You know what? Bring it on, bastards. Try me. We're leaving. Give me a gas mask. I can light you guys up from the helicopter. I think they're all dead. All right, we can leave whenever. Pretty sure I'm the last dude here, so, uh... A skedaddle. Is this where we spawn too? We might have gone full circle here. All right, time's up. Let's go. Let's leave. Are you waiting for the storm to touch us? Yeah, that's what I thought. We're out this bitch. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Let's go. Got a total of 997 zombie kills. Very close to a thousand. Did we get gold though? Did we get gold? I think we did. Let's go. All the camos for it in one game. Might have fumbled on the Mega Abomination, but we got our Golden Ivory. Still need to do seven more assault rifles. There's a lot of MW2 weapons for these classes. It's going to be a while till we get Spinal Husk on any of these. And just in case you're curious, this is what the M16 looks like with Golden Ivory on it. Pretty decent combo of weapon and camo. So is the M16 in this game as good as Cold War's M16? I don't think so. Mainly because the M16 in Cold War was like one of the best weapons in the game. And even adding full auto to this, it's it's all right. I mean, I can get through zombies pretty easily, but that mega abomination was just not going down. Maybe if I would have done a normal mega abomination would have been easier. Uh, we got it pretty close, but uh, we just ran out of time and some self-revised, but you know, who, who's counting? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one later.